muddy. When you have cabin fever, there's only one thing to do to fix it. Get extremely muddy. All right, we're here. All right. All right. OK. Come on, Who's kids. Who's ready to get muddy? We're. Not me. There. What do you see? A giant field of. Snake infested mud. I see fun. Louisiana has been hammered by rain, which makes everyone have to stay indoors for long periods of time. Fortunately for the family, I have the best cure for cabin fever. This is going to be the most fun that you probably ever had. Yeah, I don't think so. I've already had lots of fun. It's a little embarrassing to see members of my family not jump up and down about going and getting muddy. When life gives you mud, don't be a stick in it. Welcome to Mud Bowl number one. 3,000. I should have been number two. 3,000, that sounds cooler. It looks like number two out here. Mud Bowl two. In order to participate, you have to get muddy. You have to be one with the mud. Yep. Ew. Think about Arnold in Predator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember when he, yeah, you're immune he to cloaked himself yeah. in mud. It's awesome. That's no. not real. It's awesome. Why would I? Why would All I... right, so what we've done is we have concocted a redneck chariot. Oh, it's awesome. Follow me. Let's do this. Come along. Let's do it. Let's go play in the mud. Let's go, kids. Let's go. All right, just wait right there. Good plan, babe. You never get too old to have fun in the mud. This is fun! Thank you for driving me, Willie. You're such a sweet son. <sighs> Mom, how long is this going to take? About 30 minutes? Don't worry about it. It's bingo, man. Mom, I'm worried because I'm here. Well, you're going to have to move anyway. Mom, there's seats everywhere. Somebody's joining us, and that's their lucky seat. Well, these people are into this, huh? So I know, it's a fun something? game. It's a fun game. It's a, it's a child's game. A lot of sons would come up with excuses if their mom asked them to spend the day with them at bingo. Not this son. How does anybody know what's going on? Well, you just have to pay attention, big boy. I just couldn't think of any excuses. Shake the ball, shake up. Shake the ball. Oh, God. Shake up your balls. They say shake your balls. Shake your balls. Shake the balls up. Some say bingo is an exciting game of chance. I say there's little chance that this will be in any way exciting. Get out, get out of my seat, fat boy. I told you somebody was coming. Hey. Si, what are you doing here? I'm fixing smokies, geezers, and bingos, huh? Look at his, look at his big pack. Si, you're supposed to be at work. Get up. This is my lucky seat. Come on, hurry what up. What does that matter? Hurry up, up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get over here. Si, what are you doing? Hey, I'm getting your bad juju off my seat. Oh, your whole life is bad juju. Uh. OK. Wait a minute, you can just ride with Si. Shut up. You must be quiet. Mom, ride home with Si. No, I'm riding home with you. I'm leaving. No, you're not. You stay where you are. Could he scoot down more? He, I'm, I'm telling you, he's bad luck. He's... How would you know I'm bad luck? It's the first time I've ever been here. Hey, you're putting out bad vibes. I'm sitting good, here because I brought cash. Right. Hey, are you Willie Robinson with Dr. Hey, Landry? Yeah, I am. How are you? you? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Lisa. This right. is awesome. I'm not playing. I'm just... Well, I'm... you're going to have to do something. You want to get up there and call some balls? I don't know. Anytime if... we get a celebrity in the house, we let them get up there and call. Well, last week, we had the weatherman in here, and he had a good time up there calling the ball. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Uh, uh, give him some encouragement, people. Hey. All right, yeah, hey. Boom up, uh, hey. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey. All right, yeah. come on. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. I'll be Go up here really. to call on the ball. Look, pronounce them clearly, too. Don't mess up. Right. That's right. Si, shut up. That's oh, my sorry. son, Willie.
I don't know, babe. Uh, I'm not that doesn't look safe. You. I knew y'all were gonna say that. Look at that. <laughs> Seatbelt! <laughs> yeah, but what if it flips and you're buckled in and then your head is dragging? Just don't be a Debbie Downer. Come on. The most important part of mud ball is you have to get muddy. And this is the best way to do it. This is not cool. Well, when I was say? a kid, if I'd have saw this, I'd have, I'd have thrown up. I'd have been so happy. What? Ugh. The loser of the mud bowl has to ride on the throne while all other members of the winning team throw mud at them. No. Yes. Yes. I want to see Jep get muddy first. This is the mud brigade. You ready? Let's go. All right, let's go. Hold on, babe. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Like, we're all gonna get muddy once we start playing. Why does he have to get muddy before? They have to do something with some type of engine and everything they do. Ooh. Woo! You can learn a lot about life in the mud. The world is a messy place. Find a happy place, Rowdy. Ah. Ah. If you're worried about getting muddy, you'll end up standing on the sidelines watching life go by. Put your seatbelt on. Ew. <laughs> yeah! Another important principle, <laughs> it's better to be spraying mud on people. Oh, my <laughs> gosh! You're uh, sleeping on the couch tonight. Than riding in the seat that's being sprayed. Now that we're all muddy. We're done. No. Oh, good grief. What? Oh, yeah. Time for a little mud ball. Nah. Is that a thumbs down? Okay, B6. B, it's B6, I just said it. Why do you need to see it? B6. Make sure you pronounce the B's and I's without slurring them. Si, you can't even speak the English hey, language. I don't want to hear it. Just pronounce them correctly. I got money riding on this. Not too quick, though, because I'm a little slower. What? Your mom said, hey, do it slowly. OK, uh, G60. G60. The G spot. Blinko. Oh. Come on, here. Come on, here. <laughs> OK. Hey, Willie, first thing he does is steal my lucky seat. And now he's up there, OK, calling the numbers like it's some silly joke. Before time. Oh. See, he's already messing it up. Time. Hey, look, this is bingo, okay? This is serious. I 24. I'm not 24. I'm telling you, the game's founder, Regil T. Bingo, hey, he's probably rolling over in his grave right now. Uh, Mom, what do you need? Uh, 50, 50, 50. G50. <laughs> Thank you. Look, I would go up there and grab him by the neck and throw him out of the bingo hall, but look, I don't want to touch him because his bad juju will probably rub off on me. Oh! oh. oh. New oh. caller! Ready? No, New caller! Not. Your time is up. New caller! No, what New caller! New caller! Thank you, guys. This was so fun. It was great being here. Um, Come on, new caller. <laughs> OK. New caller. Well, he tried, gang. New caller. That's my son, Willie. I'm sorry. Welcome to Mud Bowl 3002. There's only one rule. You must get this ball into your goal. OK, perfect. <laughs> Let's do it. You can use your hands to pass the ball. But in order to have a goal, you must kick it. OK. It has to come off your foot into the goal. Copy. Let's do this. You must kick the ball into the imaginary line in between the ducks. All right, awesome. All right? Yeah. Let's do it. You can pass it to your teammate. 
If you want to make a goal, you have to kick it. Awesome. You might know why? Because this is a football. Care. You got to use your feet. Let's go. All right. All right, let's, let's get this game going so Stop we can talking. end it. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's play some mud ball. What can we do? <sighs> Let's face it, I was right. You can tell by the looks on everyone's faces, this is fun. Okay. Yeah! Oh. Right here, buddy. Right here, buddy. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Mud therapy has truly worked here today. Cabin fever is but a distant memory. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Everyone's enjoying themselves. All right, we won. Wait, wait, we have to keep playing? With the exception of Missy. Fan out. That ain't happening. Fan out. I just don't care enough, sorry. But I'm pretty sure at some point, hopefully before she dies, she will learn to love the mud. Break! Ow. Four to three. OK, Bye. done. No, that's halftime. No, I ain't no halftime. I'm out. We lost Missy. I thought I did a good job up there. No, you didn't. You done terrible. But isn't this fun? Don't you love it? I think I may come back and just to watch all the time. I know. Look at all these numbers and look, colors. Don't you love the colors? It's awesome. And then you win and win money. You like money, don't you? You're a big money man. How much money can you win, Dennis? Bingo! You better check that, because he can't really see well. Oh, it's good. Trust and me. And he can't add any not good with Letters. 3, 11, 17, 25, 51, 54, 75, 65. That's one good bingo. Oh. 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 Don't tell me. How much money do you win? $2,000. You just won $2,000? Yeah. Why, why do you think I was I here? Know. How many cars can you play at one time? How many you want? You want another one? You I need a it. bunch. I need a bunch. I'll be back. I'm in the game, boys. Watching Cy win gave me a great idea. Namely, I won't be nearly as bored if I have bingo winnings in my pocket. Give me like uh, two hundred dollars worth. There you go. Hang on. Hang on. Simple economics say the more you play, the more I can win. Hang on, bro. Coming in hot here. You gonna be able to keep up with all that? For two thousand dollars, I can keep up with a lot of stuff. Even if I got to put in a couple hundred to win two grand, that's winning eighteen hundred playing bingo. Bingo. I'm pretty good at math. OK. And numbers. That's like making money while I sleep. 063. 063. OK. Play your own game, ma'am. You don't have to get that. Hang on one second, bro. Hey. Don't repeat the number for him. It just helps because it takes no, more time to look at the board. You're if I look at the board, it's taking everybody. more time. Be quiet. You're distracting hey, everybody. Everybody's been yelling ever since hey. I got here. They're going yeah. to they gonna put hey, you come out. Come on, take him yeah, out of here. What did he say? What was that? What did you even bring him? OK, this is my second way to make my income, OK? Look, when I yell bingo, I've done it from one card. That takes years of practice, skill, and technique. In 35. In 35 seconds, I'm gonna win. I want him to leave. What Willie's doing here with all these cards is a slap in the face to the sport of bingo. Look, it's not fair, number one, all right? It's like, compare, I compare this to an athlete using, okay, performance enhancing drugs, IEDs. Bingo! Oh, oh bingo. good, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the easiest money I ever made. That ain't no bingo. And look, and if it was up to me, He'd be disqualified first, okay? And then he'd be banned from bingo for life. Bingo, 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 bingo. These numbers ain't been caught. Oh, Lord. I hit the wrong. The ink sprays over like three numbers. I didn't know. He'd be like Pete Rose, okay, of bingo, but without the talent. G55. What's that noise? Hello? Hey, where are you? No phones in the building, Willie. I'm playing bingo. <laughs> No, for real. Don't 
Everybody's mad at me. Everybody's, all right, let me go. Let me go. They're all mad. All right, I'll call you back. You are embarrassing me. Mom, all I'm doing is hitting the numbers like everybody else in here. You One more person shushes me. Go wait in the car. Play with your phone or something like that. Fine. I'm going to come back without y'all here. And I'm going to play these again. Bye. And I'm coming back. Right. Hey. Take and a chair. No, I'm, play I'm taking my shoes. Yeah, all right. Hey. What's that? Hey. That's my son, Willie. Hurry up. We got to get to the mud bowl. Knucklehead. Subs have arrived. Fast break. Here he goes. Go, River! He made a move to the left. Go. Hey! Oh. Hey! That looks like fun. Hey. Y'all come join us. I'm in. Hey, let's, let's do it. it. Let's do it. We're in. Go. Come on, Mom. Come on, Will and Corey. So we got Sadie. <laughs> Ever since I was young, people always told me, hey, Si, you've got a face for radio. Yet, no one's ever asked me to be a professional sports announcer. The world has been robbed of the chance to hear my dulcet voice until now. The Mudball competitors are a rugged and tenacious bunch. They come in all sizes and shapes, but they have one thing in common, an unmeasurable fortitude. The native sons and daughters were born to slosh through the mud and slush of Louisiana's clay. And today, they embrace what could be their final clash. All right, folks, we're back for the second half of Mud Bowl 2. There's the kickoff, folks. Right here. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah. Are you on my team? Back, back, back. Are you on my team? It's a pass. Yeah, Back, back. Are you on my team? Pass off again. Are you on my team? All right, they've got the ball. Who's on my team? What? No, Kick interception. Kick it. Now I'm the captain. Defense. Folks, we got to look at this one more time. Willie has grabbed the much smaller river, trying to assert his dominance, and the kid's sliding face first in the mud. This is just a feeble display of character from this aging veteran. Bingo. He scores. It's a tough game. Here's that goal again. OK, was it graceful? No, he looked like a drunk walrus. But hey, this is as good as it will ever be. Go! Hey. Lucky kick. It's a tie. All right, there's a slight Let's break. All right, in. everybody's getting a little tired, Let's looks like. In. Fat boy looks like he's about done in for the day. I can't see. Interception, oh. fingertip. All right, it's back. It's going. Kick it in, Bobby. Boom! Yeah. What a kick! In an instant, fortunes can be won or lost. With the fingertip interception, the long bomb pass, and then a swift kick off of a muddy right foot, this game has come to the climatic end. The winners have nothing left to do but celebrate, and everyone is desperate for a warm shower. From all of us here to all of you at home, thank you for joining us for Mudball 2. No, 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 no. I'm Sal Robertson. Good night, play fairly, and stay clean. <laughs> Bingo! Yeah, y'all won, so y'all get to pick which member of our team you would like to be on the Mud Brigade. Well? I'd like to nominate Willie Robertson. I second Woo! that nomination. Boss Bobby. Hall, come on. Willie, you're in the Mud Brigade. What's the Mud Brigade? <laughs> Today was an eventful day. I went from getting dragged to bingo to being dragged through the mud. The mud part was actually way more enjoyable. Oh! The mud brigade sounds a lot worse than it really is. Other than the fact I'll be picking mud out of my teeth and nostrils and behind for the next few days, it was actually kind of fun. I got in my mouth. My undies are wet and I'm tired.
They should adopt this tradition in other sports. Stop no. it. Can you imagine Drew Brees being dragged through the mud after a loss? People would pay to see that. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for another day on planet Earth. Father, thank you for this good food you've blessed us with. We thank you, Father, for your love, your goodness, your mercy. I do pray, Father, for the Robertson clan. I pray for my fellow countrymen, too, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 All right, boy, let's dig in. Let's check it out. Whether it's the most competitive bingo hall in Louisiana or the filthy mud fields of the Mud Bowl, from time to time, we all get dragged into some activity we're not interested in. But if you're willing to set aside any assumptions that you may have had, you may just find yourself having an unexpected good time. There's nothing like quality time with your family to make you realize that you can have fun doing just about anything. We should do two out of three. No, I'm out. <laughs> One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Stop. Come on, man. This shot is called the crane. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Oh. There's the tenor. <laughs> man down. <clears throat> Party foul. Scrambled eggs. South of the border. Below the belt. Yep, below the belt. I feel like I want to throw up. <laughs> Playing a little basketball? Oh, wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing. Look who's here, boy. Mr. Fancy Shoes himself. Are these things awesome or what? Still wearing them, huh? Three and a half days, I'm going strong, Jack. Every once in a while, Jeb gets all fired up about some weird product that he's bought off the internet. I'm fixing to jump out this building, windmilling Duncan, slamming, jamming on that some gun. But here's the thing about that. You're short. I'm five, nine and a half. And you can't jump. I'm five, nine and a quarter. Deal with it. If you can dunk with them shoes, I'm gonna go buy me a pair. Hey, if he can dunk it, I'll buy me a pair. Put it above the rim and I'll snatch it. Three, two, you ready? one. No, I wasn't okay. ready. Hey, he wasn't ready. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Go for it. I, here you go. Oh, what? I, I, rejected. Don't quit your day job, short stuff. OK, these shoes are for training, not for actual dunking in. Well, go get the ball. I'll get that sorry excuse for a lob. It's pitiful. You want me to tell you what the key to dunking is, boys? What, did you learn that in Nam? Well, among other things, yeah. Wait a second. We got a problem over here. Jace, see all that? Termites. Termites? Dude, look at this. Termites and an arm. You better tell Willie. Jace. If you touch me that again, <laughs> I'm going to take you to the shoes. Don't be scared, my baby. Yeah. Give me that ball. I'll tell Willie right after this game. Oh, don't tell Willie. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> I'm going to slap you with that baby arm. I don't think they're going to be able to get the elephants in there without the poles holding it up higher. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't a circus. Hey. Ha, 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 you're fun. Look here. The circus has come to town. They bring the lions and tigers. Sorry. Where's the 14 clowns that pile in the car? Sorry. What? For the 50th time, it's not funny. Uh, All right, look. Bah, bah. <laughs> All this for some little termites. I ain't taking no chances. Here's the thing about termites. They don't turn nothing down. No joke. Hey, two by fours, two by sixes, trash cans, poop, humans, nothing slows them down. Anything living or crawling in there, I won't kill. Kill them all. Kill them all. Because if you don't nip this in the bud, the only thing that's going to be left is a bunch of fat, overweight termites. Fog the whole mess. You hear them burping, and all that comes out is sawdust. <laughs> Excuse me. I couldn't have it. That was good, that was good spaghetti I had for dinner. Hey, uh, Si, why don't you just work inside today? Hey, ain't nobody got no time for that. All right. Are y'all packed up? Willie, we ain't got nowhere to work. I've got it all worked out. You're going to Phil's? We can go to my house. Phil's is your best option. It is a place that has. I got snacks. 
I love snacks. All right, look, I don't care where you go. I'm in a dealing mood. Y'all get this knocked out, you can take the rest of the day off. Up. Oh, did you hear that? Fine with me. You got to get to the Golden 60s meeting. Golden 60s? Yeah. Uh, you know, got a little yeah. gig today. When you're the CEO, people look up to you, and they want to know your secrets to success. We're going to talk about goals and life and making money. So naturally, my mom wants to show off her successful, good-looking, charming son to all her friends. I spoke her a couple months ago. Uh, I wasn't aware they had an amateur hour up there. Hey, I've done that. You both spoke there? Yeah. I'll play dominoes with them. I did, too. Hey, all that matters is it's my turn now. All right, I'm going to give them a little bit more. I spoke it. Really? I got a casserole. Come on, man. All right, I'm working from home so I don't die in there. All right, get her done. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -da -da. Bring on the clowns. Sigh. Step right up. See the elephant. See the tiger. See the lion. See the bearded fat man. Hey. Hey, buddy. A little sparse crowd here, huh? Am I early? Hey, y'all. This is Willie. Hi, Hi Willie. Hi. You know, he has dimples under that beard. He shouldn't hide them. Are you doing the introduction here? Or am, I am I speaking right now? No, we've got to go get the lunch and... Go get the what? When Miss Kay asks you to do a favor, you always got to read the fine print. I'm not going to get the lunch. I'm speaking. When you have a luncheon speaker, you go get the lunch. Mom, because she always throws a couple of surprise clauses in there. Now, I told Carla that you and her could go get the lunch. And although none of her reasons make any sense, here I am. Mom, I can't go pick up food. I just want to yank your hair when you act like that. Hello, Willie. Hey, how are you? Fine, I'm glad to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. You're going to help me? Yes, yeah, of course. I am. That's I'm so going to help nice. you. Oh, hey, that's me. You know, Willie has a tough time making friends at work. I'll drive. But I'll probably need room in the truck for all the food. Oh, I know. No, mm -hmm. she can't get in that no. truck. Lucky for Willie, I'm a really good matchmaker. I will pick her up and put her in the truck. You know, getting picked up by Willie, a handsome man as he is, that uh, sounds good. Great. I know Willie and Carla are going to be best buddies. But I still want to drive. Just like Simon and Garfunkel. I have some candy down here I want to nah, give you. No, nah, that's good. Oh, I don't candy. need candy. He loves candy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, goodness. out of the package even. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mom's always been pretty bad at setting me up with buddies. I'm going to save this for later. Oh, after lunch? Yeah. In grade school one time, she set me up with a kid that ate his boogers. OK, well, are we ready to go? Just about. All I have to do is go get my keys out of my handbag. I'll be right back. Mom, she's got her handbag in her hand. Shh. Right now, I'm wondering what old Billy Boogers is up to. Why didn't you eat that candy? What? That was rude. Maybe he could drive Carla to get the food for the luncheon. I'm not putting it in my oh, mouth. Oh, you've put no. worse things in your mouth. It's in the bottom of her purse. Shh. She's going to hear you. I'm confident she's not hearing me. What? Are we ready? Well, I don't know. I can't find my handbag. Maybe you can just use that one. Oh, <laughs> that's it. All right, we found it. Good deal. Do you remember where your car is? I hope so. Are you sure you don't want me just to drive us on Oh, in? no, no. I want to do the driving. You know, when I'm in my own car, I like to do the driving. Watch the curb right here. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Carly? I want to tell you about my cats. The only thing I can think of that's worse than taking a trip through West Monroe with Carla... I had polio as a child. I have post-polio syndrome. I had pneumonia 11 times. Wow. It's taking a trip down memory lane with Carla. You probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, really, did I tell you I have two cats? Carla's memory lane is more like a memory circle. Yeah, you actually already told me about the cats, Carla. It just keeps going around and around. I did? I told you about both of them? I told you about both my cats? And around and around. I'm such a cat lover. And around. And my other cat. Oh, boy. Yeah! Now, this is duck call building here. And then I ain't even got to go home when I get through. I think we ought to move the shop. Let me tell you about my crew. We will work anywhere, anytime. Productivity has gone up here. Mm -hmm. 
at Gowan's Lair. But we're at our best when we have snacks and air conditioning. You know the best part? Willie ain't running in here talking about, y'all got that order done yet? I know Willie. You're getting the duck on sticky. Get rid of the popsicles. Mm -hmm. These things are like crack. Gowan's house, perfect. Now we're selling flavored duck calls. Yeah, they probably like it. This one's gonna be strawberry here. He's talking about, he goes, oh, that was pernurple flavor. What flavor? Pernurple. Pernurple? Hey, it's pernurple. Hey, look, once while I was a kid, I bought myself 100 double stick popsicles. Can you spell that? Yeah, it's P U R P N L E. That's when I learned the hard way. Pernurple? You do not want to eat 100 pernurple double stick popsicles. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Pernurple. The colors were beautiful on the box. Red, green, blue, and height. Of course, pernurple. But trust me, after you eat them, you're fixing up, Chuck. Pernurple flavored duck call. And the rainbow don't taste as good coming up as it did when it went down. I figured you'll give me another one. Hey, I want grape. Give me one of them grape. No, you don't get the grape. Popsicle gravy. What's in this box here, Goblin? That come in last week. You ain't gonna open it? No. Read it and you'll huh. see why. The law office of Van Beat. Lawyers are after him. Uh oh. Yep. Look here, I'm fixed to open this coffee hey, up, buddy. Crack that sucker up. Oh, no, yeah. You hey, look here, Christmas time. There may be a treasure in here, boy. Maybe uh, some dogs in there. Here's a letter addressed to John Godwin. Well, oh, give it to me then. Well, hold it. Godwin, you got a great uncle named Reuben Godwin? Yeah. Not anymore, you don't. He died. Hmm. Old size has got a way of breaking it easy, don't it? I'm sorry, Godwin. Was he close to you? I only met him one time. Tell me, enclosed in this box is your inheritance. At least you get a hey. present. What's in there? Hey, it's a jackalope, boys. Part rabbit, part deer. Now that's a present. I shot at one of these one time and missed the sun. No, what? you didn't either, <laughs> Shy. Hey, yeah, I did too. When Sai gets on a roll, he's unstoppable. Rabbits don't have horns, Sai. Uh. What do you mean he don't have horns? I'm holding one right here. It really makes no difference what you say. That's a swamp rabbit, and they put some deer horns on him. No, he's like a runaway freight train of misinformation. He's got thick fur, and when it's wet, he is might near bulletproof. You can't kill it. Boom, 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 boom! Next stop, Fantasyland. Y'all got me excited now. God, I'm telling you, that's worth some money. Ah, it's not worth anything. What? It's got to be worth something. Uh, probably at least five bucks. <laughs> we get some more popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you even get it appraised at? Taxidermist? Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of them around here. All right, All right let's go find us a taxidermist. Uh -oh. Yeah, that sounds good. I want to know how much that thing's worth. Me too. Jill, are you still wearing those shoes? Yeah. That's just embarrassing to be traveling with you. Finally made it. Here we are. Hello. How are you doing? I'm here to pick up an order. OK, what's the name? The Golden Sixties Club. OK, we've got it right here for you. How much is it? It's seventy-seven fifty-four. I'll pay for it. No, no, it's my club, and I'm gonna pay for it. How much was that again? Seventy-seven fifty-four. Good grief! If Carla starts moving any slower, she's gonna move backwards in time. Seventy-seven fifty-four. 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 Oh, that's a year I finished college. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Good. Carla, I don't mind paying. Which would actually be beneficial to her. There's twenty. Okay. Three, four. Five. How much is that? Uh, boy. Okay. She'd be like Benjamin Button. I got some ones. Benjamin Carla. Carla Button? Okay. I have four pennies, I think. You don't have to do it exact, Carla. Is that a nickel or a quarter? Uh, for the love of humanity. Okay. Benji Arla. Whatever. She is old. Okay, is that okay. it? I think that's it today. All right. Okay. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Okay, but let me tell her about this while okay. we're getting this food. Okay. The ladies are meeting. We Carla, we're good. You ready to roll? Okay. Y'all have a good day. Did I tell you I have two cats? Oh, good grief. Man, this place is awesome. It smells like roses. This place smells like something died. Who gets excited about a building full of stuffed animals? I certainly don't. 
awesome. Wow. Animals should be eaten. Oh, my goodness. That's cool. What a waste of a good frog. That's sacrilegious. Not stuffed. I stuff frogs in my body. Oh, heaven. The only animal I stuff is a turkey on Thanksgiving, sometimes Christmas. I can decide that nut and that squirrel's mine. You got a acre. You think that's impressive? Look at that. Whoa. Good grief. Now, I don't know that much about taxidermy. That is one proud sheep right there. But I know good work when I see it. Goodness. And that set right there is pretty darn lifelike. I want to look away, but I can't. I can't either. And it's healthy, too. That's impressive. Hey! Hey, how you doing? Are you the man in charge? I am. What can I help y'all with? Yeah, I got a buddy of mine. <laughs> hey, knock it <laughs> off in there. We got the guys gonna help us right here. What's wrong with y'all? Come on. Y'all bring that creepy specimen in here. Don't mess up my hair. That is a jackalope. I haven't seen too many of these. Got one? Hey, money. What is it worth? You gonna get paid. I'm gonna make a few calls and find out. I'll be right back. Rare means money. Cha-ching! It's a jackalope. Hey, I've learned one thing from this. What? I ain't gonna be buried. I want a taxidermist to stuff me. Oh. No, no, look, hey, you can keep me a week. <laughs> Keeping you a minute. Hey, and the whole family can share in it. They'll keep me for a month. What better way to honor a man, okay, than to immortalize him as a redneck statue? Just think of it. Jason got a fireplace. Look, and I'll be like this. Well, you're grabbing your rear end. Hey, from the heat, from the fireplace. That's, that's what you want to be immortalized by. Wake up every morning to this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I'll be around forever. Hey, it's kind of sweet. Sentimental. All right, I got some news for y'all. All right, All right. what's he worth? That's it. He's worth about $50. <laughs> what? I haven't seen another like this in here. The thing's rare. If he had testicles, I could give you another $100 for him, but he doesn't. Hey, look here, $500, and I'll bring you a pair of testicles for him. Hey, look, if it's testicles you want, hey, why didn't you say so? I'll give you some of those lickety split. Pow! Snip. Oh, nice fit. Make it a $1,000 dollars and I'll bring you a pair of taxes to put on it. Look, hey, them things are worth so much, I'm thinking about starting my own business. I can see it now. Size, gonad, emporium. Now, what kind of testes will you be needing today, sir? Oh, I think I have a couple of those in the back. Let me get you a sack to put those in, sir, and I'll ring you up. Ow. Snip, cha-ching! I'm talking about a gonad monopoly here, boys. I mean, that's all I can do. I'll just keep him. That's sentimental anyway. Y'all take care. Y'all know we still got to finish up that duck call order. No. I, I enjoyed it. That was fun today. Look who's here. Come put this down with the rest of the casseroles right here. Good How much food do you have? Well, you can't have too many casseroles. This will feed 100. Son. Mom, that was the most miserable thing I've ever done in my life. Have you ever driven with her? She can't hear me, believe me. What? All right, whatever, Mom. Let me just do my speech and get out of here. I'm always proud to show off my children. And Willie, he is a great speaker. Grace, do you want to come up, Menardis? I'd love to. He's been making wonderful speeches all his life, except for one time in the fourth grade. Hopefully, he won't pee in his pants this time. Good luck to you, son. We have a very special guest today, Kay's CEO son, the brother of Jason and Jep. Let's give him a big round of applause. Hey, I'm Willie. I'm a duck commander. Nice to see you. Most people are afraid of public speaking, but most people aren't Willie Robertson. The key in any business is to have vision. The trick is, is to imagine the audience naked. Um. Um. <laughs> All right, everybody's got on clothes. Everybody's got on clothes. Okay, I think it's important to have a five-year goal, a ten-year goal, and a... We'll just stick with short-term goals, you know. You make it sell crochet stuff, or um, maybe there's a business in there, I'm not sure, but we can just eat the casserole and move on. 
That's it. Thank you. Thanks. I thought Jep was going to be here. I'm sorry. Just me. OK. You sure it's safe to be in here? It still stinks, man. I eat my sandwich and I'm all right. That's your opinion. Yeah. He's sitting there talking to an animal yeah. that doesn't yeah. exist. He's fine. Yeah. That's Benjamin to you. Uh, Benjamin? Yeah. Benjamin Bunny. Hey, I don't care what his name is. That's Benjamin. Here we go. Benjamin Bunny. Give me that. Huh? I'm supposed to show you all something right here. All right. I've been wearing these shoes a few days now, and I can feel a deep burn in my calves. Y'all ready? The guys are laughing now, but they won't be laughing when I tomahawk dunk in their face. This is what happens what when you, you use got. a duck shoes right here. Goose. What do you got? A man called Michael. Jordan. Whoa. Tongue out, and I just sprained my ankle. He just sprained his ankle. Balling, y'all. Balling. You think we wouldn't notice that you lowered the rim about, what, two feet? Two foot. Y'all saw that, huh? How can you not see it? I mean, yeah. You're only five foot tall. So I'm five nine and hey, a quarter. No. If you want to dunk, hey, do what the pros do. I don't have time to practice no, like no, that. No, no, hey, look, get on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come look, come into the real world, OK? You're five foot tall, and you'll never duck it, unless you get the old shot in the buttocks. Si, I say no to drugs. Well, I say no to dunking then, buddy. <laughs> Lasagna from the golden 60s, oh, Miss yeah. Carla. Please bow. Father, bless my friends, my family, my country. For his sake, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Get on, Carla. It's easy to get caught up in the fast-paced lifestyle of a CEO. Problem is, you can't always live on the go, especially when Carla's driving. Whether it's an obnoxious amount of casseroles or an unusual inheritance, it's better to appreciate what you have than worry about what you don't. Hey, Willie, I'm thinking about getting in the gonad business. Any advice you can give me? Did you just say gonad? Okay, imagine this is a street, all right? There's the mall. You can walk in there, you can buy stuff, but you've got to be able to get this truck into there. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a problem. Sadie's taking her driver's test today, and I'm the Mr. Miyagi of driving school. A little gas, a little gas. Whoa, 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 no, 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 not that oh. hard, not that hard, not that hard. Oh and she's gonna be a little Ralph Macchiano. Stop, stop. Oh, oh, oh all right. She oh, is he was terrible. Good gracious. What is the point of this? She's trying to park in between that sawhorse and that garbage yeah. can? Parallel parking? Willie, this is your plan to teach Sadie how to drive? Get a sawhorse in a garbage can? Just seems dumb. She's driving forward, but hey, she's looking out the back window. I've been driving here my whole life. I've never paralleled park. I protest parallel parking. When you're doing a 360 donut, you ain't gonna be worried about parallel park. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I can't even say it. Parallel parking? <laughs> hey, last thing I think I would look for would be a trash can in, in the road. The only time you see a trash can, people are putting their garbage out for the garbage men to pick up. Mine is Wednesday. Other people are, are Thursday. Those guys watching me are making me nervous. Oh, don't worry about them idiots. I had a pet hamster once. He had this big old plastic ball you put him in, he'd just run all over the living room. Look funny. Hey. This is the move, all right? Spin it like this. Okay. Go, go. All right, here we go. Cut it. What's that? Swing it. Swing it. Good move. All right, good move. She's getting there. What is swing? Swing. Swing. Dad, swing you're going to have to stop using the driver's turn. Swing. Up. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Swing. Uh -oh, look out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She nailed that garbage can. We're going to have to take this girl by the hand. Who put trash in this thing? It's a trash can. Not just for her safety. I would never do what you're doing, ever. Yep, but for the safety of all mankind. She's doing it now. Hey, look out. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, <laughs> hey, all hands on deck. I think that ends this driving lesson. Good job, Will. Shut up.
what you're going to cook for us today. Well, I was thinking about where I'm going to make either an apple pie or a peach cobbler. What do you think about that? Pies. You know, Miss Kate, she loved to talk about pies. See, I'm not into pie making. I'm into pie eating. But remember my pecan honey pies? Those were really good. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Oh, J.L., Johnny Luke himself. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Mel, OK. Hey, buddy. This is Emily. You know I before. know Emily. You remember Emily? Nope. Just excuse him. He forgets everything. <laughs> so what y'all doing today? Well, I was thinking that we could, well, I was thinking we were going to, we could take the boat out and try to, I was just going to take her out on the river, on the old, you know, catch some fish. Show her the ropes, you know. Yeah. Reeling back the years, you know, when I came up with the old scheme, you know, me and my girlfriend fixed to go fishing. The last thing I had on my mind was fishing. That's for sure. I'm like, yeah. Tell you what, I'll take y'all fishing. I, Miss Kay, watch my gun. I, th I think we got it. You think they really want you to go with them? Nope. How's she doing? She cannot be that bad. If she were an X-Man... Willie. Her power would be... Uh-uh. ...destroying cars... Willie. ...not even driving, just looking and thinking of how she would drive. You're getting out of control. Terrible. Okay, where is she? What's she doing? I don't know. Oh, God. Sadie! Yes? When you kill a fly, do you need to move slow? Like molasses syrup in the wintertime. Subtle, subtle. Formally. Oh! 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 Hey, hand me down. That's about right. Hey. Have you got this driving figured out? No. Nah. No. Yeah. Look here, Sadie. It's not your fault, OK? It's the instructor you chose. If there was a long list, the last name on the last page at the bottom of the page would be Willie Robertson <laughs> in capital letters. Where's your name on the page? Mine is at the top, Jack. Oh. There is not but one master blaster, and that'd be yours truly. Something drastic is going to have to happen for Sadie to actually pass her driver's test. How many wrecks have you had? Zero. You've never hit a deer? Hey, that ain't a wreck. Oh, oh hey, that's food on the table, Jack. And hey, I'm that drastic that needs to happen. You boys have lost your mind. Uh, so right, listen, come Jack. on, Sadie. If you want to pass that driver's test, come on out here. Let's go. Luck, guys. Oh, you're going to need it. So y'all want to catch some fish? Yes, yeah, sir. That was the plan. We were going to do it. I think our culture needs more grandpas riding along with grandson and girlfriend. You got old Papa here being your chaperone. What's your opinion on that? Well, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. Enjoying the great outdoors and everything's above board. Now, Jean-Luc, never touch her below the neck until you sign the dotted line. <laughs> That's being a gentleman about it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That, that helps. Since my dating days, I've just noticed it doesn't take long for a girl to become a girlfriend. I'm there to try to point them on the path they should go. When you're young, you know, all you hear everybody, you know, on television and the internet, you know, sex, 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 oh, you know, what are we gonna do with ourselves? Don't even entertain that thought. The last thing I would want is one of them come to me and say, guess what, Papa? I mean, you know, I've got herpes. And I'm like, yeah, well, I know where that comes from. It's syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes. Wow. I'm like, I don't think so. Sounds like a good point. Better a good day's catch of fish 
than a lifetime of crabs. A little peck on the cheek, okay. But other than that, no. You go from happy, happy, happy to crabby, crabby, crabby. But I'm gonna go show you how to catch a fish. Oh, that's a good one. Where's Sadie? Uh, I think she went out to go get something to eat. We just ate. I ain't got time to keep up with your daughter. <laughs> something going on here? Nothing. These guys aren't looking me in the eye. I've seen it before. That usually means Willie's fixing to get really angry. Nobody's seen Sadie. Nope. It's all like Donkey Kong. Oh, my goodness. Um, did you see that sign said 35? What about? You're going 55. No, that's just a suggestion. Well, there's three rules you need to know about. First of all, three to nine on the steering wheel, hands at three o'clock and nine o'clock. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. Yep. Number two is established dominance. The key to driving is, hey, you always be on offense. Defense, no, they, no. Defense, it no. And then number three, always have ice and tea on hand to keep refreshed. Let me get a little refill of tea here. Oh. oh. Main thing is, hey, you pay attention to people around you. Because I'm telling you, hey, people are crazy. You know, like right here, these pedestrians. Mm -hmm. You know, if I hadn't been paying attention, hey, I'd have killed both of them, probably. Driving ain't that hard, is it? No, I think I'm really learning something. Yeah, In Vietnam, though, look here. Kids drive, they start driving about seven years old. So driving is not a big thing. In Nam, they let kids drive when they're seven years old. You know, I watched, I watched a grizzly bear drive a scooter. Hey, they got bears driving, they got dogs driving. What? They, they get them on a little motor, moped. I've seen a man with his face on the back side of his head drive a, a, a little small scooter. It's ridiculous. Hey, Dad. What are you doing? Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I'm teaching your daughter there how to drive. Did you learn anything? I learned pedestrians need to watch out. <laughs> pedestrians and need to watch out. And they do need to watch out. It's a dangerous world out there. Oh, my gosh. So, now that's a good rule. That's not a good rule. <laughs> Is that it? No. Well, he also told me that in Vietnam, you can get a pretty good fighting chicken for under 20 bucks. Under $20. Hey. Hey. Okay. Sadie. If you're gonna pass this driving test, you must forget everything he just told you. All right. What can hey, I say? it's fun. Well, somebody's gotta teach him, son. Right, you're overreacting. No, uh -oh. we done locked out of y'all. Yeah, that's side-proof. Hey. Pedestrians need to get out of the way. They need to be on their toes. On your first date and all. Oh. We just gonna kinda serrate him a little bit. See what I'm saying? Oh, I see yet? it. Oh, Bill Robertson, I cannot believe that you went out there and interrupted their date. Ugh, Phil. I think when you clean fish, it's a great first date. It's romantic. When's the last time on a date could you say, now that's dating? Look, hold on. This is the first time. Oh, it's making my mouth water. That's disgusting. I'm sure Emily is loving every minute. Holy. Mm. Are you? Oh, it's yeah. fantastic. It reminds me of one of our first dates. Mm. I love to talk about when we were dating. I was looking for a pioneer man, and I got it. Boy, he's got, he got, oh, an, old, man. He got an old hard head. But I'm, I'm different than most women. Mm. Now that is American dating. All right, Sadie. Yes? I've set up 
a little duck obstacle course. What you're going to do is weave in and around all these decoys without hitting them. Sadie's my daughter. If she thinks like I do, monetary encouragement is going to make this thing stick. For every one you don't hit, I'll give you $20. Let's do it, 140 bucks. $140 is going to save me about 14000 in insurance. Any infraction that's going to hinder you passing this driving test, I'm going to give you a warning. Okay. This will be the warning. Ah! All right? All right. Ready? I'm ready. Ah! What? Your hands are at 9 to 3. They need to be 10 to 2. Uncle Si taught me 9 to 3. 9 to 3 is what I would wish he would work. Huh? Good. You made it past your first one. Come. All right. Here, get your phone out and text your mom that you're doing good. OK. Ah! That was a test. The answer is no, I'm not the testing, I'm driving. No. Cut the wheel, cut it. Other way. <laughs> I don't know I cut right the there, wheel. Right there. Oh. Ah! You just crushed a duck. Ah! Now, it's so fast. Oh. Not oh. Fast. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to see the duck. Oh. Ah! I'm about to get out of this car. Ah! Back what? in the car, please. Do you realize what you're doing wrong? I'm crushing ducks. Oh, no. Stop, stop, stop. Yep. Stop, stop. Are you kidding me? This is still going on. Let me drive. Oh, my you... gosh. You watch, all right? All right, let me just tell you, this ain't working. She's terrible. Won't you let us worry about the driving? Y'all need to get back to work anyway. Willie, she is a danger to society. No, she's a danger to decoys. She didn't hit the pedestrian. OK, give me five minutes, and I believe I can teach her how to drive. Let me go down the obstacle horse one time. Fine. Good luck. Right, You'll go. see. All right, let's do this. This will work. And it's like the story of the three bears. One of the bears was useless because he was too fat. You want to blow the duck call at her? The other. Hey, all right, there we go. Was crazy. Then you had one bear, did it just right. And the best thing about a vehicle is it provides a great escape. Oh my gosh. We're out of here. I want to take you on a little field trip. Bye. See you later, Dad. Boys, Elvis has left the building. Have you been comfortable at any point? <laughs> Absolutely not. You spent all day in the parking lot, and you didn't get any better. Got worse. You got worse. <laughs> Sadie, welcome to the woods. If you got so many rules that you're thinking about, you forget the fun of driving. The outdoors is the perfect place to find the bridge to freedom. You know what this is right here? What is this? Freedom. You want to try it? Yeah. Yeah. Your redneck chariot awaits. 10 and 2, looking good? 10 to 2, what do you mean by that? Hold the steering wheel. That's what Dad taught me. No, you need to forget all that. <laughs> I mean, look, when you're driving down the road and you got a flaming hot donut in your hand, you're not worried about 10 to 2. You're trying to drive and eat your hot donut. Look, there's no rules here. Fire it up and let loose. OK. Hey, give it some gas. Yeah. Hey, go. I'm giving her the art of driving according to the woods. This is so much better than the parking lot. I can see it in Sadie's eyes. Easy, easy. Oh, she's feeling the freedom. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what? I'm trying to supply her with confidence. That's almost losing control. Yeah. Freedom. In between the trees. Oh, we're cutting that close, Sadie. What was the other thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Safety. Are you all right? Yeah. Is this bad? We're not coming out of here. I guess he's going to get to blame for this. Jace. You might be a little late. You know how they have the dinner and a movie? This would be fishing and a dinner. Hey, there you go. You got it. Fun. I'm trying to teach Emily the way of the pioneer women, and she's actually wanting to learn. 
And I know you want to get your hands in some more good old fish, don't you? Sounds good to me. Actually, I'm not going to let you. I love that about her. This is a pioneer woman's secret. The key to, especially a Robertson man's heart, is through his stomach. Just between us. You know, everybody, you know, it's sex, sex. That only lasts shortly. That's enough of that. Nowadays, they're just all about sex. They think that's all that's important, but it's not. I want to bestow a little knowledge on these kids. You have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner, you have snacks, you have special treat night, popcorn night, and dip and chip night. That's what you need to think about. It never hurts to have a good pan of cornbread, either. I can't wait for our next double date. Don't get up. Here's the report. Corey! What? OK, do you realize you're, like, really late? Well, where did you go? I took her to the woods, because that's where I learned how to drive. Chase. OK, she's not going to be driving through woods. She's driving on streets. Mom. Do you realize she's Mr. We're driving not going to make that. Do you think if you just call up there, Mom. they can just wait I'll on us a little bit? And well, tell them anything? Well, OK, look, guys. I am a terrible driver. What? I don't think it's such a bad thing I missed my test today. Oh, I agree with that. She is terrible. I mean, hide the puppies terrible. She cannot be that bad. She's the worst driver ever. <laughs> ever. OK, you're saying you don't I'm want... saying I do not need to take my test today. You sure? I ran over, let's see, like eight decoys, trash can, ran into the ditch, got the you thing into stuck. A ditch? But everybody's fine. <laughs> I'm angry, but in this family, you got to learn to take the positives out of anything. Sadie came back alive, positive. She missed her driving test, positive. She won't kill anybody on the streets for another week, positive. If you want to wait, we can wait, and I'll teach you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's good, a lot better than me. All right, look, I'll teach hey. you how to drive. Come on, baby, we can All do right. it. <laughs> she's, she's one of the most dangerous people I've ever been Dude, around. I'm any scared bit. for my life. We got to look into some armor on that thing. Yep. She needs like steel plated. Roll cage. Big time. Yeah. As a dad, I want nothing more than to see my children learn and grow, even if I got to do some growing too in the process. Father, we thank you for another day on planet Earth. I do pray for Sadie for learning how to drive an automobile. And I pray for Jean, Luke, and Emily, Father, that they'd be pure in their dating relationship. Amen. Amen. Let's face it, things like dating and handing over the car keys to your kid for the first time are scary. The key is to guide them so that they don't go careening off the highway of life. In the end, I just want Sadie and John Luke to feel confident and capable in everything they do. Or in Sadie's case, just move to a city with a dadgum subway. Hey, Dad, can I drive home tonight? I guess so. Let me move my truck first. Yeah. Mine. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Huh. All, right. All right, we got it. Let the game begin. Work without fun is like peanut butter without jelly. Boring. They're getting fancy. Get the rebound. Get you some of that. If all we do is build duck calls, look, we won't be able to fit through the door. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Oh, man down. I'm trying to help this company out. Jason. Oh, God. Oh, no, you gotta call a foul. No, I ain't no foul. foul. Get, get him. Foul. Get, get him, him. Now that's defense. <laughs> Where's the foul at? Yeah. Hold it. What? Hey, either dribble it or shoot it, but hey, quit crying on the court. In the military, when I played basketball, we played barefoot and gravel. There were snakes and gators on the court. Sometimes we didn't even have the ball. We'd have to pretend we had a ball. Stop being a wussy. Try stealing a ball that ain't there. Ridiculous. We're going jungle rules here, boys. <laughs> What's up? Hey. Another basketball game? No, this is the championship game. This is Three game days seven. in a row y'all been playing ball. I applaud you for trying to get in shape. That's great. Lord knows you need it. We ain't got time to be playing ball. But hey, Martin looks like Patrick Hewing in the fourth quarter just from getting out of his truck. He won't be able to shove three duck calls together after a game of horse. Why don't you have to do this after work? We're too tired after work. Uh-oh. Give me the ball. <laughs> Jace, give me the darn ball. Oh, give me that ball, Jeff. 
Give me the ball. <laughs> there you go. Hi. Tack! <laughs> what do you say? Tack! Nobody says that anymore. Yeah, they so. do. I do, Jack. Boys, I know all the new phrases. Cowabunga, radical, cat's pajamas, duh. And hey, homie don't play that. Booyah! Get back to work. Give me okay. the darn ball. You're going to get fired. Get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Hey, that was flagrant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 ball game's over. Get back to work. That was a foul. <laughs> Willie fouled both of y'all. This is one of the best things about this company, the company retreat. When we have a retreat, that means we're going hunting. So I'm happy. You reckon you got enough shells? Last thing we're going to do is run out of ammo, boy. And I do a lot of retreating. My whole life's a retreat. But it seemed like it's a little earlier this year. It is early, isn't it? Yeah. There ain't but two seasons open, hog uh, and turkey. Well, let's kill something I, I for Willie. I'm waiting on Willie. I don't know. What's the whole Hey, like? Willie is probably in his stuffy office doing stuffy business as usual. Well, I'm going to get him. Well, go get him. All right, I'm hey. tired of waiting. We're going to hunt. We're going to hunt. Let's, Let's go. Right. We'll sit out in the parking lot. I'm out. Of course it's an attractive offer. Willie, let's go. Who wouldn't be interested in that? I got some big news. I've got another job offer from a big company. We're waiting. Tell you what, I'll call you back. Stop it. Here. No, that's one of my kids. I've gotten these offers before, and I just turn them down. I say, no, no thanks. But this one, this is one of those that's going to be hard to walk away from. Thank you. All right. Let's, let's go, man. And then I'm ready. I had one phone call. That's what I do. I take phone calls. Let's go kill some. What are we going after anyway? Yeah, I'm thinking hog. One thing for sure, we ain't duck hunting. Oh, I got something special planned. I always look forward to the retreat. Every year we go hunting. But this year, I got a little surprise for them. This ain't exactly looking like a place to hunt there, Will. Where I'm taking the guys is a little out of their comfort zone. Sometimes you got to shake it up. It don't look like <laughs> no hunting hole to me. Just wait. Hey, there ain't nothing here. I have no idea where we're at. Way too many houses. It's like I'm in an alien country. Are you lost? All right, we're hey. here. Whoa. Hey. Where is this place? Is that a swimming pool? What? Come on, I'll explain later. Our counselor's waiting. Counselor? This is not the wild, wild woods. What do you think? The whole thing is making me nauseous. Hey, that don't look like a hunting camp. What, woods. what are we going to be killing? We're going to be killing fear, doubt. What? Hesitancy. That already seems stupid to me, Willie. This is a team building camp. Are you serious? A team building camp? If I was trying to build a team full of idiots, that's what I'd do. This is the stupidest thing you've ever come up with. Will there be any running involved? This is a team building camp. We'll see weaknesses, we'll see flaws. Hey, you done been reading too many books, huh? No, he's been watching Oprah Winfrey right. or something. Well, they put the bamboozle on the whole bunch of us. Crazy knucklehead. We're going to have to work together as a team. Are the keys in this thing? Hey, I, Jack. Hey. Boys, I might have to go AWOL. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. Willie. Hey, I'm Trent. Trent. Oh, yeah. nice to see you. Good to see you, man. This must be the rest of the Duck Commander crew. We're here. Crew. This is the crew. Well, it's great that you guys are here. This is obviously something that's needed. And I know that by the end of the day, you'll really get a sense for your trust and teamwork and what you can really do when you work together. Trent, look, it's good to meet you and all, but we're not going to be here long. That's what we need to work on right you there. Bet. That kind you of bet. attitude. There is something waiting in these woods that you've never gotten to see before. Are you serious? It's a joke, right? No, it's no joke. 
You done lost your mind. The next thing you know, you'll have us holding hands and we'll be singing Kumbaya around the campfire. It's going to be more than what even we thought it would be when we spoke over the phone. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Face your fears. Sometimes it takes time. It's like a hippie commune here. Right this way, guys. This is not a joke. No weapons, either. No weapons? I'm going to check y'all for guns. Hey, man, I'm glad you called. This is exactly what we're designed oh, this for. Is it. They're going to get into it. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Guys, this is our first element today. Deer stand. <laughs> I can go no, get my bow right deer. now. Yeah. That's not a deer stand. Don't, don't yeah. We need to build up our, you know, a little bit higher for deer stand. <laughs> I know this probably looks like a deer stand. This is actually what we call a trust fall. This is an event that will help you guys really get a chance to see the level of trust you share between each other. <laughs> hey, I come up here this morning trusting that we was going on, on a hog hunt or a turkey hunt, and then here I am talking to a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> so to say I have got a little trust issue with him is an understatement. Sure. What am I actually supposed to do here? Si, you would walk up to the top of this platform, turn and face this tree, and I want you to just fall back and let us catch you. <laughs> we got you, Si. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we got it. Si, it's going to change your life. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid <laughs> it's going to put me in a wheelchair. <laughs> but now I feel like Si's at the age where if we don't catch him, <laughs> it's over. This is going to be great. This is going to be absolutely great. Are we really going to do this? Seriously, we're going to do this? Cy needs you to catch you got it, Cy. This is called being stupid together. Cy, I want you to say trusting, because hey, I want you Why don't I just go ahead and get down the ladder? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The last thing I want to do is fall, hoping these idiots will catch me. Here we go, Cy. I'm going to hit the ground. This is the dumbest thing you have ever done, Silas Merritt Robertson. Trusting. OK, we're trusting. Si, you say falling. Falling. Fall away. Fall away. <laughs> Guys, I'd really like to try and get this going, OK? All right, here we go, Si. Now, Si, you're going to say falling. We're going to say fall away. Falling. All okay. Look out. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, Good Lord. Oh, see? Oh, right upside the face. Look here, I apologize for that. Trusting, falling. Uh, I pity the world if that's what it takes to trust people. Martin, I think that's just a product of Cy not fully trusting you as he's bringing his arms out. There were some issues in that fall. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. I definitely had issues falling. <laughs> so I don't trust people. That's life. Uh, who'd like to go next? I ain't doing it. I'll go. Martin gets up on that platform. I'm going to tell you something. You might as well just chunk a sperm whale off there. We'd have just as much luck catching that. If he goes up there, it's no longer about trust. It's about physics. Trusting. See y'all to the next one. Well, that's no fun. It's this is it, Trent? This is doing? it. This is called the pamper pole. You have to change your diapers after that's it's over. <laughs> that's right. That's why it's called a pamper pole. It's a little bit intense. You can see it's a, it's a high element. We'll take a volunteer, somebody to climb up here and, and take a leap of faith. <laughs> Not it. Come out, Jack. Hey, I done my part, OK? I trust it. I don't understand something designed to make you poop in your pants. You know, that don't do nothing for me. This will fit anybody. We're prepared for whoever wants to lead the way. I'll do it. All right, there you go. I ain't going to lie, I'm scared to death. I look up, it's about 30 feet in the air, and then the thing you're supposed to grab is about 10 feet away. I can't let them see me be scared of it, though. I ain't scared. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hey, have we got any honey around here? We're sending Winnie the Pooh Bear up. Going to the woods and crapping your britches. <laughs> I said, this culture we live in, they're nuts. Climbing. Climbing. Okay. Climbing. You guys really try. Get on up there. Get on up there. there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, look at him. You're on your own now, buddy. Hey, what's the weight limit on that pole, Trent? I think we can support that weight. Oh, OK. Come on there, big dog. Shut up. Guys, if we could really try and be encouraging. Hey, don't screw this up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, Willie, he's scared to death. He's looking like a third grader who just wet his pants. Hey, as fuzzy as you are, you'll probably bounce anyway. Sir, that's not even funny. Hey, unless you're just going to do a, a over the, over the off of there. 
What? Uh huh. Uh, over the off of there. He just got a bail off. Be sure to watch the Olympics for that trick. They're doing a half over the off of there. I need to check my side the size to see what he just said. Watch out over the off of there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you jump, you just say one, two, three, jump and go for it. Okay. Jump! 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 He ain't gonna do it. He gonna check it out. Jump! Shut up. You're doing great. You're doing great. What's that dripping down his leg? Shut up! Guys, if we could really try and be encouraging. The more encouraging, the better. Yeah! Shut up! You got this. Everybody buck, down buck, here buck. believes in you, don't we, guys? Buck, 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 buck. One. What? Damn! I'll count! Well, start counting. In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm fixing to do it. Come on! One. There you go. Two. Three comes after two. Start over. <laughs> One, two, three, jump! Don't screw this up. You had it, Will. He let go of it. Hey, <laughs> you had it. My hands. Well, there was a little too much mass there, you My know. Hands That's right. right. Yeah. Gravity took over. You just look like a human pinata out there. I was looking for something to hit you with, see if I get some of that money out of your pockets. Yeah. See, y'all don't get it. Everything I thought was gonna happen ain't happening. Has anybody learned anything out here? If you're wondering, the answer is no. I've learned that if I ever want to go have some fun, this is the last place I'll go. I'll tell you what, y'all keep joking, laughing, or whatever. I got a phone call to return. You totally don't get it. Hey, what are you talking about, son? I brought you out here because I've been offered another job. <laughs> really? Huge job, huge company. Workers actually work. You're thinking about taking it? Duh. OK. This gets tired, working with all this mess. I would hope you wouldn't act too hastily. You need to calm down. I mean, you're all emotional. You're acting like a woman. Take a chill, Phil. Hey. hey. Typical Willie. I'm taking my ball, and I'm going home. He gone. Gonna talk about it? I'm not into brooding and you know staring at the white lines as you're going down the highway. I like to communicate, good or bad. Let's get it out, let me hear it, and move on. I think Willie's got something on his mind that ain't hot. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty mad. I'm on the verge of making the biggest career decision of my life. Are you sure you're not lost? And this band of idiots is just pushing me closer and closer out the door. Hey, Willie. Yeah. Every time I ran upon a situation where there was a dilemma, I'd take a little walk in the woods. All right. And I'd ask the Almighty about it. I get going out in the woods to clear your head. That's probably why Phil spent so much time in the woods, because he had to run this company. It drove him in the woods where he hadn't come out in 30 years. We ought to all go to the woods, do like we used to, you know, have a big camp out. No, that's what I'm talking about. Catch us something, kill us something, and eat it. You in, Willie? Yeah. So let's go camping. That's what I'm talking about. Do you want us to come together as a team? We should have gone camping to start with. That's a heck of a tent you got there. We gonna make fun of the tent, too? Guilty. Well, while y'all making the final touches on the camp, I'm gonna go kill me something to eat. My time to make this decision is running out, and I really need an answer, but I don't have one. It's gonna take divine intervention. Hey, y'all need to come look at what I stumbled up on down here, boys. You don't see this very often. A breeding pair of gator snapping turtles. These things here make some money for us. You reckon? Let them breed and then get their eggs. 
I don't even know where Si gets his facts from. So that's your retirement plan, Si, turtle breeding? Hey. He's claiming he's a breeder, and all he does is watch cartoons. Them things good eating right there. Hey, hey look here, boys. We don't want to be eating eat. That'd be like eating a $1,000 bill. As soon as I seen them, you know, I seen dollar signs. They ain't going to them oh, worth $300 hey. a piece. $300 for a turtle egg? What are they, gold? Oh, oh come, come on. Hey, oh. we can make some money here. $300 an egg, and they lay about 40 to 50 eggs. We talking some serious denario here, boys. Hey, you got to think of a name for these turtles. Susie and Bobby. You better hope it ain't Bobby and Louie, or you're going to be out of business. I got one of the biggest decisions to make in my life, and all these guys can think about Kawabanga are these turtles. Look, he reached for the instructions. He's going to put it together for us. Are they still calling? Yeah, I'm telling you. Look, I speak for everybody. We don't want you to go. Susie, where are you heading? Come here, you big heifer. I mean, I know we goof off, but, I mean, I like you in charge. Willie is missing the fact that the reason we put him through so much torture is that we care about him. If I didn't, I wouldn't be making your life so painful and miserable. I wish it was just easy. I just flip a coin, say, heads will go, tails will stay. Good on both sides. Tell you what we could do. We could race these turtles. This is a very important decision. It doesn't just affect me, it affects my whole family. Let the turtles decide. I ain't got no better idea, so why not? I'm gonna pick a turtle. If that turtle wins, adios. This is so stupid, Willie. But hey, I like it. All right, I want that girl right there. You begin to wonder if the CEO is losing it when he agrees to stake the company's future on how fast two loggerhead turtles are. We're going to do what? Ready? Oh, man, I can see the excitement in his face. On your mark. Get set. Hey, go, on, big boy. Come 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 on, big this ain't good. This ain't much of a race. So what'd you expect? They're turtles. Mm. Lazy. Turtles racing, not a good idea at all. Jay, she got to get up under there. Come on, Bob. Oh, oh no. OK, easy, easy. <laughs> hey, we got movement. Oh, oh, here we go, Bob. We got Come movement. on, Bobby. Oh, yeah, Come on, Bobby. Come on, Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. My goodness. Hey, that's a bunch of baloney, Jack. You're a loser, Bobby. I won. Susie won the race. Bye-bye, Willie. The total is spoken. I guess I'm supposed to go now. On to greener pastures. Way to go, Bobby. I'm leaving. Although, you know what I'm thinking? Two out of three. Two out of three. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We're back in this thing. There, there we go. Great position. Right. Booyah. Father, we thank you for all the blessings you've given to us through the years. No matter what happens, I pray, Father, we be content whatever the circumstances are, whether we are in want or whether we have plenty. Amen. 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 I've worked for Duck Commander for 20 years, and it hadn't always been easy. I mean, we've had our fair share of bumps in the road and idiots not doing what I tell them to do. But through it all, I know I can always count on the Duck Commander family to get the job done. It may not be pretty, and they may have a few laughs at my expense, but I can't imagine working anyplace else. I mean, let's face it, they need me. But, to be honest, I guess I kind of need them too. Willie, you gonna stick around? Yes, sir, but you gotta raise Susie the turtle for your job. And hey, homie, don't play that. <laughs> Sadie, you almost ready? Yes, ma'am. Don't rip the tag off. Let me cut it off. I don't want it to rip like the other one. I know. The other one? Yeah, she has to have like two formals and a suit for the football game. For what? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. 
Sadie got nominated for the homecoming court and I couldn't be prouder. She's really following in the old man's footsteps. Except I never had to buy three dresses for the homecoming dance. Well, they have to have this thing that they do during the thing to, with the two dresses. That they do. Well spoken, son. <laughs> OK. What do y'all think? I love it. It's perfect. Pretty good. Does she look pretty? Dad? Does say look nice in her dress? Yes. That's. But it's the kind of nice that the boys at school are going to think is really nice. And that's going to make me really uncomfortable. Is that all of it? Uh. Because she's really young, and she's really my daughter. This looks a little short to me. And I'm really accurate with a crossbow. You think it's too sexy? <laughs> she's Lord sexy, and yeah, she knows it. Look, if you're not happy with it, then you can take her back shopping to find another one, because. Uh, no, where? Do what really? you gotta do. No, you're her daddy. Never mind that we spent a week finding that one. Corey, if I can run a company, I can go buy a dress. Your daddy obviously hasn't shot with Sadie lately. No. <laughs> Corey thinks that the mere thought of a dress shop is gonna send me running for the hills. Well, the joke's on her. Hey, I can find something that looks more conservative than that. Really? Because I have my fingers on the pulse of the fashion industry. Kind of hard with the beard, but I know about fashion. Godwin's got these shorts. You can unzip them, and oh, no. they go from pants to shorts. Dad, just don't embarrass your daughter. <laughs> I won't embarrass her. Lily, John Lake, you need some more ice cream, son? No, this is good. John Lake, when I said it, that means stop. Quit scraping the bowl, son. Sorry. Look, you can take her back tomorrow. Wait, we need to change. I'm supposed to go fishing. Uh, no. Change of plans. Good luck, Dad. You're gonna need it. <sighs> what about denim? Like a dressed denim? Willie, that's just weird. stampede or a revolt. But we don't have any coffee. Well, go make some more. No, we're out. The coffee pot is busted. Well, we got to have some coffee. Well, yeah, we got to have coffee. I've been drinking coffee every morning since I can remember. I have luxuries I can do without. Electricity, air conditioning, toilet paper. There's not a lot of things I do habitually, but one of them is I drink coffee in the morning. The luxuries I don't do without are my black coffee, you can't take a man's coffee, and that's it. No, you don't need no coffee. You're going through caffeine withdrawal. What are you talking about? Hey, just go get you a shot of B12 in your behind. You'll be fine. What? Hey, look here, boys. And now, when we got down a little bit, hey, the doc would give us a shot of B12. Hey, next thing you know, hey, you'd be going, 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 and gone. I'm fired up, Jack. I need to work off some energy here. You know, I think a crank a diesel engine. I'm talking about. <laughs> Si, I do not do needles. B12 would fix that right up where you wouldn't even just rock on. I'm out. Tell it. Ah. Willie needs to send one of his little minions out to go get a coffee maker immediately. It's a little minion. You're not a little minion. Got one. I want some coffee. I do too. But that should be something that they should do for us. I mean, what do we ask for around here? We don't ask for much here. Hey, I asked Willie for an indoor heated pool. Depth finder, basketball. Tennis court. Family. Correction. I don't ask for a lot here. Besides all that, not a whole lot. But one thing we expect is a complimentary two-cent cup of energy money. We've always had coffee. Hey, that's why I bring mine with me. That way, I don't depend on nobody to bring me my tea. Hey, look here. You boys make me sick. Hey, I get up every morning, brew my own tea. Hey, fix my own breakfast. Hey, go in there and brush my own tea. And then, hey, then I take my own naps. Sorry, that's not coffee. What? 
You boys done got that silver spoon mentality. The next thing you know, you'll be eating brunch and sipping on samosas. I can't work in these conditions. Gentlemen. What's up, boss? How we doing? Well, we got to have a serious discussion here. Jace, I know the coffee maker's broken. You have told me. You told me when it broke. You told me when you walked out the door. You've texted me enough times. Nothing's changed. It's coming. I'll get one. If there's one thing Jace hates worse than work, it's no coffee, which I'm not sure why, because it's not like he needs a ton of energy to sit around and talk and do nothing. It's been like an hour since it happened. Look, we'll get the coffee. Got it. Two things. All those boxes out there in the aisles, they got to be moved. Take you 15, 20 minutes. No problemo. Take hey, no 15, 20 minutes. That's a Phil Robertson 15 or 20 minutes. Translation, I'd say about six hours. Y'all got to get that. Secondly, Si, we can't go straight from here fishing. I got something to do. Why not? I got to go the, I got to go dress shopping. At the mall. Oh, good grief. Mm. You gotta Sadie. go what? I gotta go dress shopping with Sadie at the mall. You're dropping me for the mall? The mall echoes. Hey, look here, I need to go with y'all. Si. This way we can just drop Sadie off once you get to dress, head to the lake. Hey, look here, I will take retail therapy over moving boxes any day. Hey, I'm ready to rip some lips. How long is it going to take? Let's head to the mall, OK? Sam Goodies, and then we'll get the new Cyrus Molly CD. So I may want him to dress. Hey, Goodies got it. So it's weird enough I'm going with her. I dang sure ain't taking you with me. Hey, no. If I go with you, hey, we can be on the lake in 30 minutes. The man's got a point. Fine. Just don't be weird, you hear me? Hey, never. Oh, Cy, si weird? I'll be in the truck. <laughs> All right, we're going to the mall. The rest of y'all clean up on aisle seven. Which one's aisle seven? It's in between six and eight. Hey, if you find one of them coffee makers, get it. Why don't we just go get some coffee? Why didn't I think of that? All right, we're dress shopping. All right, let's get this show on the road. This shouldn't take three or four minutes. Si. What? It's gonna take longer than that. It's her big day. Thanks, Dad. 30 minutes tops. We'll be in and out. Oh, please. Hello, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm doing good. How are y'all today? Good. We're here to return a dress. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, yeah, there's not enough material. All right, let's get this crap over with. This is gonna be some quick and painless dress shopping. Are y'all wanting to look for something totally different? Yes. No. This is gonna be some painless dress shopping. What are we wanting? Short. Long. Short? This is going to be some dress shopping. And also, sir, we don't allow drinks in the store, hey, that's so probably a good idea. if you could leave it on the counter. <clears throat> hey, you want this tea jug? You're going to have to pry it for my cold, dead fingers. Hey, this thing goes where I go. He's an old man. He's not right. It's OK. Hey, right, look here. What are you going to do? Put me in dress jail? Hey, go right ahead. All, All right. righty. Let's go shopping. Thank good you. luck. Good deal. We'll be done in 30 minutes. <laughs> Dad, I really like this one. No. No way. It doesn't have a top. Look, it's halfway done. Dad. I don't think Sadie understands what clothing is. We wear clothes to cover our things. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear a strapless. Uh, 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 whatever you fix to say, no. All our things. We need full coverage. Dad. Hey, your dang scarf full, darling. You want to trip the light fantastic with me? Ooh, hey. All right, look here. When I was young, I used to practice talking to girls by talking to mannequins. Here you go, darling. Don't lose your head. Um, Dad, Uncle Sai's talking to the mannequin. I know, I'm totally aware, but that's the least I got to worry about. Here, darling, you need this. If you're going to be a ladies' man, hey, you got to know about the stuff that girls think is nifty. You need fall colors, and then if you accessorize it, you know, it may work. But most importantly, hey, you need to know how they like to be handled. Grab your partner yeah. by the arm. Thanks, sir. Around. You got to have the right touch. Not. Sigh. What? Uh, That's enough with the mannequin. Hey, look, they don't make them like they used to. Dad, you like this one? No, Sadie. If we're not gonna cover the top, <coughs> this whole thing is you. <coughs> Sigh. What? Get out of here. Hey, you grump. Get out of here. Get out hey, of this you're section. Grump. How's it going back here, guys? Hey. 
Do you have anything in denim? Dab. Do you know what a burke is? Really, Jeff? Coffee in a strip mall? Best coffee in town. Oh, good grief. You say so. OK. Hi, how are y'all doing? Good. Hey. Doing good. Is this where we go? Yeah. What can I get for you? Uh, I'd like to get a raspberry mocha frozen decaf with soy and extra whip. Sorry? Now, that's a drink order. What was it? I don't know. This place just feels bizarre. The guy in front of me is ordering things that I've never heard of. What exactly did you order? Uh, it's a frozen raspberry mocha. It's got raspberry, chocolate, decaf espresso, and soy milk. What is he, constructing a bomb? Here you go. Thanks. What can I get for you? Well, after saying that, I'm not real sure. When Jeff came up with the idea of going to a coffee shop, I figured there would be coffee available. Are you looking for, like, a latte, cappuccino, brevet? Where's the coffee? You only have one thing that actually says coffee. Gourmet coffee. In the white letters. Do you want just, like, regular black coffee? We want the strongest thing you've got. Four double shots of espresso. That's what we want. Is this guaranteed to put hair on my chest? Guaranteed. That's it? That's it. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Despite the weirdness of my surroundings, this espresso? <laughs> sure. Stuff tastes like motor oil, man. It's pretty good. Tastes like my dad's. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, you're looking at the effects of long-term use of these products. These people, they look like they've been here a while. I mean, perhaps all day. I don't think these people are going back to work. I don't even know if these people do work. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Afternoon Flowetry. We need to get out of here. Well. This coffee is amazing. About to have this place, weird. Suits, suits, and more suits. Let's see what we got here, boys. I think I'm gonna be stuck here for a while, so hey, I might as well find me something and get my swag on. Pretty snappy looking. Hey, look here, my style is so fresh and clean, you don't even need to wash it before eating it. Not bad, I like the look. An elderly gentleman of leisure. Hey, I'm so dope that I'm illegal in 55 states. Well, they gotta have a color, don't they? Hey, look here. Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like I am? Fred Astaire. That's Fred Astaire's dance suit right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Bam. Sly. Yep, not bad. How's it going in there, Sadie? Pretty good. Heck, no, that's too short. I know Sadie is tall for her age, but these dresses are too short for her age. I like what you're doing with the sleeve, but no. No. Is this an appropriate dress for my little girl? No. Am I having fun? Heck no. Is anyone having fun around here? Uh-uh. What's wrong with this one? Think defense, full coverage. Dad. That's spread offense. Say, turn around, go back in there, and we're gonna act like that never happened. I'm calling Mom. Could things get any worse? Sadie. Hello, honey. Hello, baby. Yes. Is that a cane? Yeah. Yes, they can. Get out of here and get that cane out of my well, face. Well, good day to you, sir. Hey, good day also, madam. Go take that off. I'm not paying for it. No. Good call on the coffee, little brother. No look past. I told you. Come on. We almost done. I feel a million times better. About an hour ago, we were in pursuit of coffee. Chalk it. Headache. So we go, and we ingest the sweetest fuel known to mankind, espresso. 
throw them. And ever since then, everything has been moving in fast forward. We done made up for the time we took to go get the coffee. Uh-oh. Hey, bad calls. We're skipping all the boring stuff. It's just press, God. Press. Hey, get off me. Fire. Boop, 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 boop. His right. belly's hitting for yeah, the Look, his knees are on the ground. This stuff is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? My heart is beating really fast. I feel like I can hear it in my ears. It's like boom, 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 boom. Run, Joe, run! Come here, hit. That's all right. It kind of hurts a little bit, actually. Oh, I just pulled something. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm not feeling real good. I'm a little bit queasy. I have got a headache the size of Texas, man. I hit a wall. Oh, I'm exhausted, too, I'm telling you. No, I... You ran into a wall? Yeah. They'll probably turn espresso into a banned substance. Let me give you coffee drinkers a bit of a warning. If you're contemplating going down this long, dark road of espresso... That needs to be regulated. I'm gonna tell you something. That packed a punch. Proceed with extreme caution. It's a nice climb, but it's a horrendous fall. I'm just gonna go buy me a $12 coffee maker and call it a tax write-off. Tell you what, if you ever see me wandering around the mall, muttering bad poetry, just go ahead and shoot me on the spot. Deal. Dad, I've tried on like 40 dresses. That's it. That's what it needs to look like. Dad. Find that dress and you got it. Dad. You're taking all the fun out of it. This whole day has been a disaster. The fishing trip, that ain't happening. And Sadie, she is hating me right now. All I want to do is buy my daughter a dress, and it's turned into a fiasco. Sadie. Just give me a minute. Fine. Ah, uh, not now. Tatey's mad at me. This whole thing's been a disaster. Well, hey, that's because you're overbearing. Overbearing? Yeah, hey, I remember. I went through it, son. I done raised a daughter. Maybe it's just get up, but I'm fixing to break it down for Willie. Hey, what you feel to realize right here is, hey, your little girl has bloomed into a full-grown woman, and you are handling it poorly. This just ain't right. Size using the word woman and trying to console me? This is getting really weird. How old is Sadie now? She's like 13. No, she's 16. And hey, your mama, she was married at 16. She's no longer your little girl. But what's weirder is that the Monopoly man is actually making sense. We don't have to show the world that she's a fully grown woman. Hey, you can't do nothing about it, Will. Hey, look here. You can't be worried about an inch of fabric Hey, there's way more important things to worry about. Hey, Y2K, shark attack, lead paint, Dakota fanning, smallpox, Woodstock, moonshot, Watergate, punk rock, rock and rollers, cola wars. Hey, I can't take this anymore. You've raised her right. Hey, give her a little trust and respect. She'll turn out all right. I ain't through raising her. You gotta let her let go, Will. <sighs> what are you doing here? Sadie texted me. It's been a disaster. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's back here sitting in the dressing room, pouting. Oh, my goodness. Mad. Come on, come apologize. Apparently, I messed up, but I don't think anyone could have seen this coming. I had a feeling it was going to go like this. Did you? Well, maybe Corey and John Luke, too. Willie. But besides them, nobody would have seen this coming. Sadie. Huh? Hey, baby. Hey. hey. You look beautiful. Willie. Really? You got something to say? I apologize, and I may have been stupid in some ways. Yeah. That's a good dress. That's the one. Where I never saw that this one. This has always been the one, Dad. Really? That's the one we had bought in the first place. I had this at the house. Looks fine. All right, grief hug. All right, We're all nice. good. I guess they have to grow up sometime, but I still think the full-length denim dress should make a comeback. 
Mm, mm, Sai, get out of here. Oh. My family. Well, not all right, y'all. No hug for Uncle Sai after I got all dressed up? We don't need Cajun pimps in here. Oh, hey, good. Yes, I'll tell you what. Was it bad? It's horrible. No, oh, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Homecoming 2012. Oh. That pass is from Lee Reed Robertson. There you go. All right. Our first freshman name is Sadie Robertson. Raising a daughter sometimes feels like being hopped up on espresso. Everything goes in fast motion. Then there's the crash, when you realize your precious daughter has blossomed into a woman overnight. Life's all about finding the happy medium, because too much of a good thing can ruin you. The too little dress will make daddy lose his mind. As hard as it is, you have to compromise, because it could always be worse, especially with a teenage daughter. Pretty cold out. Better leave that jacket and hat on. Dad. I love crawfish. All right. Crawfish po' boy. Oh, yeah. Fried crawfish tail. Mm-hmm. Crawfish patties. Yep, yep, that's good, too. Until you've lived in Louisiana, you'll never really appreciate the crawfish the way we do. Crawfish, all gratin. Yep, that's good too. But you gotta catch them first. They're so good, they turn Goblin into Bubba from Forrest Gump. Crawfish, etouffee. First the traps, then the etouffee. Fried crawfish. Goblin. We will do whatever it takes to get our hands on them. Man. I see the crawfish traps in there. Even if it means going into our duck blinds during the off season to get our hands on crawfish traps. When's the last time somebody been in there? about December. Uh-oh. Which can get a little hairy. If you want to eat the crawfish the way you want to eat them, you need to go in there and get the crawfish trap. That's why I'm sending Goblin in first. <clears throat> Hold your breath. Ease on in there. <clears throat> Goblin, you sure you can get in there? Now, there's a picture. That could be Goblin's Christmas card. <laughs> what? There's a gator in there. Huh? There's a gator in there. For real? Yeah, it is. How big is it? He's Godzilla big. He's a bull. Like a... What are you, juggling? Giant. You all right? Don't need subtitles for that. That's it. Hey. I hear it movement. It must be pretty big. I heard his tail dragging the blind floor. This thing's a dragon. Is he coming out of there with us? Oh, go It's a dragon. It's a, it's a dragon. dragon, boys. Is this what all the fuss was yeah. about? <laughs> a a three-footer? Three you, you hiding? He's <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Galvin, where are you going? Come here, Galvin. Look at them teeth in that thing. Come here, take a look at it. Here you go. <laughs> yeah! It takes him 50 steps to go 20 yards. Oh, the little feet are going fast, <laughs> and he ain't moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, I hate to tell you this. You know what this means? Yeah, it means guy one is a big weenie. Besides that? You look like Cousin It. Hey, what? It's time to debug, or in this case, de-gator all the blinds. Oh. Si, go back and get your crawfish traps. No. See you clowns later. It's freezing out here. You think anybody will come in the cold? No. Nope. Maybe they'll see that it's for charity and they'll stop anyway. I thought we needed more sponges. Well, we thought we were going to have more cars. Today, Corey and the kids are running a charity car wash for the church, and I've decided to throw in a helping hand. You can't have a car wash when it's freezing. Well, it was supposed to be warmer today. Too bad they didn't schedule this for yesterday when it was 75 degrees and sunny. How much have y'all made? Five dollars. Oh, my gosh. But now's the goodest time as ever to teach my kids you gotta roll with the punches. <laughs> if you put it up, it wouldn't fly in your face. It's so windy. Because doing business outdoors in Louisiana comes with a lot of punches. Didn't she do good? It looks cute. That's not 
That's not good. Why? Why? You can't even see what it is. Car wash needs to pop. In her lettering kit? No, it's confusing. What? Nobody's going to stop at that. OK. Thanks, Dad. We're going to raise some money, and we're going to have a good time doing it. We're going to have fun. We're not out here to have fun. It's not all supposed to be fun. John Luke. Willie, it's a fundraiser. It starts with fun. <laughs> We need to get this sign up. Yes, I agree. All right, Corey and Sadie, y'all handle that. I gotta go make some phone calls. It's a gator in there. I ain't going in this one first. Huh? I ain't going in this one first. Well, what'd you bring a shovel for anyway? This is my cotton mouth guillotine. What if you run into a gator? Boom. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> Phil don't like a man sitting down on the job. <laughs> he knocked me off my perch here. Well, I came in a little hot. Being a hunter isn't just about whacking ducks. There are truly some mundane and tedious tasks involved. That looks like one of these road crews just standing there under the shade trees. The annual debugging of the blinds is one of those tasks. So I'm going to get them back in here. Y'all start right here and go that way. Kind of like how people think a cop just rides around in police cars and chases bad guys. Well, there's way more this way. Hey, that's why there's a lot of y'all. What people don't realize is there's actually a lot of paperwork involved. Are you fired up about it there, Walrus? I ain't going in this. Cleaning out the blinds is our paperwork. It must be done. I'm out of here. Watch him fire, Inch. Mars is going in, Oh, Bert. that was a mistake. That's what I'm talking about. That's courage right there, Gowen. Hey. Uh-oh. 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 Butter scoot back. I ain't getting stung. One, two, three. Ah! That's all of it. Do you get them? One wall's nest down, a million to go. One of the positives of debugging the blinds is that you really never know what you're going to find. Incoming, Gowen. Hey, a tar. You get three more, you can build you a truck. The water rises and leaves behind all these surprises when it goes back down. Hey, jar of pickles, this one's going to be heavy. Oh, look how nasty that is. Over the years, we've come across things that you can't even imagine. Oh, God. That smells like pure gasoline. I can smell that from here. Those are bad. No. Gavin. Gavin? No. No. Ga Ga uh -oh. Somebody call 911. <laughs> Look, they're pickled. They don't never go bad. That's a false statement. But I can't say that I would recommend eating any of it. I got a pickle jar, and I got a tire today. I can't wait to go to the next one. It's just like Christmas. Boy, he had some bad Christmases growing up. Mm hmm We got another Godwin treasure. Look, it's like Mr. Wilson from that show. Wilson! Are you talking about Castaway or Dennis the Menace? Wilson! You should have never ate them pickles. It's good night. I'm getting bit. What is what it? What in the world? Ah, what is it? Ants. Fire ants. Ah, good night. All outdoorsmen have their nemesis. God, elite there in my britches. He got ants in his pants. With Phil, it's the beaver. With Sa, si, it's the mystical black panther. With me, it is the dreaded fire ant. Good grief. What is it about this blind? Yeah. Every time we get in this blind, we get covered in ants. Get out of here. Go. They strike when you least expect them, and there's no remedy. <clears throat> Die. He really hates ants. So do I right now. Them suckers are in my boots. Got one scratch. Nope. Come on. Nope. Scratch it. Nah. Come on. Nope. Yeah. They got him in the groin now. Ugh. Down here, ants in your pants has a totally different meaning. Oh, God. yeah. That's where it hurts. A more painful one. Die. 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 You know what? What? I am sick. And tired? And tired of these ants. I'll tell you something. We're going to go for a quarter mile, and we're going to burn every ant hill, ant house, ant pile, ant hole, hotels. Motel. Holiday Inn. Burn them all. Who's with me? Um. Come on, Wilson. Let's start a fire. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a few customers. 
they are all related to us, but hey, <laughs> money's money, even if it's family money. Miss Kay put her five dollars in there. Kay, you can throw more than five dollars in there. I know that. Hey, that's what? for the kids. I'll eat part of it, and a kid can eat the rest. Y'all got any food? Oh. Hey. Sigh. What? You're not here to eat. Well, you're eating. I can eat because I'm in charge of this operation. You're in charge of this? Not that great, but we do have a sign. Nobody's going to stop for a sign. Willie has not caught on to what really sells stuff, OK? You've got to have the wow factor. you got to have something extra. We're doing the best we can with what we got, all right? No. Hey, look, you want to see some razzle dazzle? Keep your hands on the eyes. Hey, I got your money. I've got all the money in your wallet. You got to make a big spectacle to draw the crowd in, like uh, a blimp. Or fireworks. A blimp? We need to have one inflatable man, like they do at the car dealership. A inflatable man? Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's like this, and, <gasps> and then he points to where the car wash is. Those do draw your attention. Look, and John Luke's doing it. Yeah. See that's how good. You know what I'm about? That looks good. It's like this. Oh, you got to bend your leg. No, Jess, you got to go down like this and go up and down. That would draw your attention, Willie. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. That's what I'm talking about. See ya? See what I'm talking about? Well, if you want a spectacle, here we go. It's making me dizzy. Look, the point is here, hey, you need some help with your marketing strategy. Marketing strategy? Come over here with me and I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come on. Show you what? I found him. Look at the size of this hill, this whole thing. And they got camouflage in flowers. See the trail? There they go. See the trail? Uh-huh. Boom! Headquarters. Those things are foul. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I mean, they just keep coming. I mean, you talking about evil. When I was 12, I was swimming in the river. I just barely brushed up against the ant pot. This is the epicenter. This is the epicenter right here they immediately just engulfed me. So I went to stripping clothes. I run back to the house. When I opened the door, I was unaware that my mom was having a muffin group brunch. And there I am in my birthday suit, covered in ant bites. Oh, it's gross. We need to kill them all. I've never forgiven the ants after that. Look at there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Poke it again. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah, that's all of it. Give me that lighter fluid. Here, Here, I got it. Douse it. All right. Douse it, hurry. We're going to give a new name to fire ants. Here. Go in the hole, go in the hole. You think that's a deep enough hole? Yep. Get you some of that. Let's light them up. Light them suckers up. Come on, Jeff. Iron the hole. All right, Jeff. That's going to blow up. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm not dying of hypothermia. I can get it. Step back. Oh, Take that. OK. Fry! Look at them turn white. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now, that's fire ants. Get you some Look at them that. running toward the top of the bushes. Look. That's the same thing they do when you have a flood or you have a fire. You know where they go? The highest point. The highest point. They just go to those high-rise hotels. The trees. The trees. Yeah. We need to cut those. If we abandon the debugging the blind plan for the fire ant massacre, there's a pretty good chance that my dad is not going to be happy about that. Are those trees good for anything out here for ducks? Nope. That's why they got to go down. All right. And then no more ant problem. But if there is a choice between pleasing Phil and letting the fire ants get the upper hand, I'm gonna kill me some fire ants. You wanna torch them all the way there? We're gonna torch them all the way there. Well, their homes, their businesses, their uh -huh. places of rest. If you say so. Where they time out, where they race, where they play, where they fight. Holiday Inn. Where's my chainsaw? Hey, this sign is pitiful. I said we should have gotten a bigger sign. Oh, no, That's hey, all we no. got to work with. Not only that, it's pointing the wrong direction. 
I think the wind messed it up. No, hey, pitiful. It's got to have more razzle dazzle than this. Sai, it's a sign. Sai! Hey, you got to have way more of this. Sai, that's not a toy. Sai! Sai, you are literally almost in the street. Hey, you got to have it where you can flash it. Oh, oh look out. Hey. Dang it! Uh-oh. Ah. Sai. Good grief, boy. This sign flipping done got dangerous out here in this wind. Sai is the only person I know that can turn a seemingly harmless activity into a dangerous one. Sai. What? Sai! <laughs> there was a time he nearly drowned in a pool playing Marco Polo. Sai. Willie. Sai. Willie. And there was a time he fell out of a tree playing Capture the Flag. Hey. And who could forget when he lost two teeth playing bingo? Never got that fixed, by the way. He's missing a couple of teeth. You idiot? Hi, right, hey. Everybody's just honking. They're not stopping. Well, look, hey, the marketing strategy is working, buddy. I don't think it is. Look here. Hey, what I'm talking about, boys, hey. It's all about the spectrum. Si, you're going to stand right here all day and hey. hold that sign. Not out the air. Si. They're pickled. They don't never go bad. I'm going to cut this tree down, and it's going to fall right across that little creek. No. No. I've had a chainsaw in my hand since I was about six years old. I know where this tree is going to fall. Well, are we going to cut this tree down or what? Cut that sucker down. On a day like today, when you're about to accomplish a feat of this magnitude, I'm going to send a message to the ant world. Go elsewhere or die. Sometimes you just got to relish in the moment. <sighs> I'm making a declaration to all ants. <laughs> the heavy metal is coming. What was the last part? I'm bringing the pain. Some teenagers play guitars, others play chainsaws. Well, you gonna cut it down or what? You know, every time we get in that blind, it's full of ants. Hmm. I'm trying to kill these ants. That's the biggest ant pile in the world, right over there. Hmm. I'm telling you, I have chased them ants for a quarter mile. They were in these trees. <laughs> ah, well. Hmm. It was Jep's idea. Yeah, this is kind of a trick that always works when I'm trying to get the truth out of one of my sons. No, I thought it was dumb. I really did. You don't see anything. You just look at him right in the eyes and go, hmm, hmm. It just kind of brings one closer to confessing. Hmm. Well, tell you the truth, I've been wanting to cut these two trees and move that blind over here for about 10 years. Now, that might not work for everyone, but it works for me. What's your problem? He ate some bad pickles we found in the blind. How many did he eat? All of them. Did anybody check the date on them before you ate them? There wasn't a date, but they were brown. There wasn't but one brown pickle. I mean, they were disgusting. And the smell, what about the smell? Whew. Gas. Mm. And like, every time he picked one up, you could just see what was left. It just dissolved into the bottom. <sighs> Where's he going? I bet I've killed at least 50 million The tree's ants. gone. We might as well quit crying about it. 
Y'all crying about the tree? I was for a little bit coming across that field. <laughs> oh, wow. If you move right here, Jace. <laughs> he just did that. Northeast wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Not a living. At the car wash! Idiot! Well, well, well. Jace, get your wallet out. Throw some money in here. Let's wash that piece of crap. Everybody knows I don't do car washes. What? Car washes? They're not for me. If you wash your vehicle, it's just going to get all messed up again. And then you wash it again, just like you wash your body when it gets dirty. That's optional. But I will support my family because I love them. Do you wipe your rear end, or you just let that ride too? <laughs> Depends on where I'm at. It's just going to get dirty again. <laughs> Potty jokes. Plus, Godwin rode over here in the truck bed. So that thing could use a good hosing down. Was that your idea to have Cy out there? Uh, I can't take credit for that one. Oh, I'm that's... sure Willie will. Way to go, Cy! It's genius. The only thing you got to worry about... Yeah? He's going to need a nap. Good grief. I almost close. Well, there's Mountain Man. Oh. Whoa. Where's he been? Oh, I'm not cleaning that. That's for the guys. Woohoo! It's time for our break. I'm going with them. Oh, my I don't gosh. even like to wash cars. Kids, get up. We got some work for you. Father, we thank you for your love, your mercy. Thank you for this good food, too. It's through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. In business, hiring the right person for the job is crucial because the people you hire represent you. In family, though, you don't get to pick and choose. Sometimes you get lucky, like size crazy marketing plan actually working. Other times, the guy you ask to help on a cleaning job ends up cutting down half the forest in a fit of blind rage. In the end, you have to take the good with the bad, because you can't fire family, even if there are times when you really might want to. Godwin, you ain't hungry? Nope. Sure you don't want any of this pie? Nah. You love pie? Nope.